Okay, cool. So let's get into this listing presentation, listing appointment. So once you find somebody that wants to sell or they've indicated they want to meet with you to talk about selling the property or whatever the case may be, now it's time to set that appointment. Let's set a time to go meet with that person. One thing I want you new people to understand really quickly is that you don't ever price a property. Don't even talk about price with an owner until you've seen the property firsthand. It's a primary home. They live there. Okay. Got to come see it. You know, that's, that's the next thing is I need to come see it. I need to come meet you. I need you to show me the house so that I can evaluate it. And then we can go from there. So we're going to set that appointment. Um, we're going to set it, uh, you know, whatever day, whatever time, all that good stuff. Okay. So here's my listing package. Now I know a lot of you guys have a, um, a really detailed, uh, a lot of statistics, uh, what you're going to do, how you're going to market the property, so on and so forth. But I don't do that. Okay. And, and here again, this is just another example of me doing things a little differently, just based on my experiences, what works for me to give you guys a different perspective of how you can do the business. And I'll tell you something else that's interesting. A lot of the agents that I talk to, um, you know, when we really sit down and dig into a lot of my, my stuff and they ask me questions, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, it seems like every step of the way, all of my stuff, it really creates a sense of uh, calmness. Like, you know, my phone scripts, for example, when people are using other phone scripts, it feels like you're forcing it where, you know, hey, do you want to sell, you know, and do you know anybody or whatever the scripts are, they sound very telemarketer and they sound very, you know, non-personal. And then when you switch over to my scripts, now it's like a big weight lifted off your shoulders because it's really, really laid back. It's really, you know, low pressure. You're not, you're just helping people, right? Same thing with this listing presentation. A lot of people are worried and stressed out about how to do the listing presentation. What do we need to do? You know, they want to go through this big, should we be going through this big 20 page listing presentation? Um, you know, are we going to forget some of the details and they stress themselves out big time, right? And so I make it very simple for you, right? And you can do it like this or you don't have to do it like this, but this is how I do it. Okay. I show up, I have a, a Remax, you know, folder. You can put whatever company that you are. Um, I have a Ricky Carruth pin. Right. And so I show up with this folder. OK, it's a black folder. They don't know what's in it. Right. I just show up. I say, how are you doing? I shake hands. I go into the house. OK, the next. Um, the next move is. Hey, how are you doing? We talk, you know, see what kind of conversation is going to happen there. Then I'm going to let them show me the property. Now, this is my favorite part, because. They want to walk you through the property and they want to show you every little thing about the property. And they want to, they want to tell you why this is special and that's special and why this house is the best house in the neighborhood, right? Everybody's house is the best house in the neighborhood always, right? So I walk through and I'm, and I'm not saying anything. I'm just listening and I'm saying, oh, that is nice. Oh, yeah, I love that. I love this, all that stuff, right? I want to be very calm. I want to be very, I don't want to talk a lot right here. I want them to be in charge. I want, they were in their house. I want them to be in charge. The biggest thing with the listing appointments is making people feel comfortable with you. This is the biggest, biggest, biggest thing is making them feel comfortable with you, who you are, what you're there for, what your intentions are, you know, why you're doing this. And if you can make them feel comfortable with you and who you are, um, then you have really won. You have you have given yourself the best opportunity to win the listing. Even if they're up if you're up against uh, they're interviewing several agents and there's some really heavy hitters, you know, some of those heavy hitters are not as personable as you're going to be. Um, if you're following my coaching, if you're, 
you're listening to my videos and podcasts and, and watching my Instagram, you, you're, you're in the mindset of how can I help this person? It's not about the deal. It's about the relationship long term, because if you help this person, really help them, even if they don't want to sell right now. But if you take the time and you really help them, they are going to see you as somebody who really cares about them. And now it's done. They're never going to use another agent ever in their life. You are their agent for life. They're going to refer everybody to you. They're going to buy and sell everything through you. They're going to refer everybody they know to you. So take this serious. Do not go after the deal. Be very, very low pressure. And let's just fill the situation out. Remember my uh, quote that I did a, a while back. Be 95% uh, low pressure and 5% high pressure. Okay. Um, you have to pick and choose where you're going to be high pressure at. If you see the opportunity, see, They've already decided when they're going to sell. It's not up to you to decide when they're going to sell, but it is up to you to notice that they want to buy or sell, that they want to sell and that they're motivated for some reason. OK, the big, big thing in the listing, uh, the listing appointment is to make you make them feel comfortable with you. And number two, to find out why they want to sell. What is the reason behind why they're wanting to sell? That is the second most important. Probably those two go together. There's really not one that's more important than the other. Being making them feel comfortable and finding out why those are those are two very closely related situations that needs to be your biggest goal to find out why they want to sell. What happened in their life? Because something's going on in their life. Did they get older? Do they want to downgrade? Did they lose a job? Did their kids go to college? Did they get a divorce? Are they just, do they just want to invest? What, what are they, what's going on in their life? There's something else besides, I just want to sell a house. There's a reason. And when you can get the answer to that reason and focus everything on that reason, we're just taking another step closer to being their agent forever. And we take notice of why they're wanting to sell. So let's get into my package here. Okay. So what happens is, is we're gonna we're gonna let them show us the house. When when I show up, I normally show up, greet them, talk to them, and then I normally set the folder down on the kitchen table, and I leave it there. And now I'm gonna let them show me the house. I'm gonna leave the folder there. And so what happens every single time is, is they show me the house. We're walking around and all that. We kind of circle back to the kitchen or living room. And then we just start talking, you know, because by then I've opened them up. They feel comfortable with me by that time. And I've probably popped the question of, you know, why are you guys wanting to sell or what's what's causing you to want to sell or, you know, I'll fill out exactly how to ask the question. And two, the answer to the question tells you a lot. It tells you how motivated they are when they want to sell. If they really want to sell, sometimes they may say, you know, you say, hey, what's causing you to want to sell? They might say, well, you know, we're just kind of thinking about it right then and there. You know that they're not super motivated. Right. Or they may be in not telling you. You can still feel the situation out. You're always feeling the situation out. Don't ever believe anything you hear. You know, just go with the flow of it. But uh, we're going to circle back around. We're having this conversation. And then at some point. The conversation is going to break and it's going to be about the price, you know, like what is the price? Um, you know, like we're talking and, uh, you know, we're talking about, you know, fishing and stuff and then, you know, this and that. And then, you know, we start, you know, thinking about, well, you know what, you know, what's the house worth? Because that's what we're really there for. We want to know what the house is worth. We want to a meet Ricky see if he makes us feel comfortable, see if he cares about why we're going to sell the property. And then we don't know what the house is worth so we can make a decision, right? What's the house worth in the current market? Okay, so that's when I grab my folder, open the folder up. First thing I grab is the comps, okay? So what I like to do with the comps is 
I like to put it on one sheet of paper. I got the I got the the active listings here and the closed listings here. I like to put it on one sheet of paper like this, where I can just compare everything. I've got you know price, subdivision, bedrooms, bath, year built, uh, 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 size, selling price, close date, days on the market, price per square foot. I like to do it like that because it's easy to read. You can look at all the properties right there. You're not flipping through this long, you know, this long deal with all these properties. It's one page, boom. Now, a little side note. If I'm dealing with a unique house and I need pictures, I need to show them pictures. We need to we need to um we need to like compare like real pictures, and you can't do that on one sheet of paper. If it gets that deep where I feel like I really need to bring my computer, I'll bring my computer, hook up to their internet, I'll pull up MLS right there, and we'll go through everything. If they want to see everything and it's a really, really unique house, then then we can do it. But you know, most houses are in subdivisions where the price per square foot is normally, you know, where you know you can kind of tell what's up with the price per square foot. Or if it's a condo, it's really easy because they're most all the same same floor plan and so forth. So I like to do one page comps, and so what I do, and they start talking about the the uh, the price. I start, I just say okay because I've seen the house and I know about it. Um, I also bring the tax. I like to bring the county tax evaluation of their property. Um, I didn't put that in this folder for you guys, but I like to bring the tax evaluation that shows the square footage, when they bought it, how much they paid for it, all that stuff. That way they can't argue with me. If they say they bought it for a different price or if it's a different square footage, it's like, here's the county information right here. Like this is where it, what it says. So I'm going to go through all these comps and I'm going to kind of formulate in my head what the place is worth, what we could ask, what we could get. Okay. Because that's what they want to know. So we talk about that. Then I just kind of take the conversation from there, right? Whatever direction they want to go in, you know, let's talk about, okay, what, is that what you thought? You know, what, where you, you know, what do you want to do? Uh, you know, that it could go so many different directions from there. Based on what they say, you go with the flow of it and just try to help them accomplish what they want to accomplish. Um, other things that are in my folder. So they get to keep this entire folder, the comps and everything in this folder, the, the pen. I actually leave it with them just like this when I leave. It's theirs. Okay. So other things that are in this folder. This is a one page resume. <clears throat> I don't do this anymore. Um, I just put this in here for you guys because I do think it's a good idea to have this. Um, I don't do it anymore because I'm just, I'm such a people per, I just want to connect with them. Like it's just me and them and like our personalities. Uh, I just want to show them how much I care based on how I'm acting and what my body language and tone is and, and how, how in tune I am with them and why they're wanting to sell. That's my thing. And I think it should be your thing, but I do have this one page resume that shows some things. Um, also, I bring a blank listing agreement. Always bring a blank listing agreement because I don't know if we're going to list the property or not. If we don't list the property, they can have this so they can kind of look through it and then, you know, they can kind of know what's in the contract, you know, um, and we can kind of go from there. And then I always, have a $20 gift certificate to a restaurant. Um, Tacky Jack's is the one I do because there's three locations down here. It's a pretty popular seafood restaurant in my area. So regardless of where they are on the island, they could be in Fort Morgan, Gulf Shores, or Orange Beach, there's always a Tacky Jack's close to them. So I always give them a $20 Tacky Jack's card. And I give these $20 Tacky Jacks cards when I show property. Every single time I show property or have a listing appointment, I take a Tacky Jacks card and they can have it. Um, I also do these folders for my buyers. I'll have all the properties we're going to see. I give them the folder. I give them little sheets every time we go to a different property and they can have everything when they leave. Also, there's business cards in here. Okay, so nothing fancy. Um, it's more about connecting with uh, with my, with my potential client than anything. And, uh, 
you know, that's it, guys. That That's the listing appointment. I'm going to go with the flow from there. I'm going to see what they think about the price. I'm going to see how they feel about the entire situation and then just, just see what I can do to help them from there. That's really the whole process. The biggest thing is making them feel comfortable and finding out why they want to sell and focusing everything around that and then just trying to connect with them long term. I mean, that that's the name of the game.